myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in this video we will discuss about homocystinuria that means metabolic disorders related to methionine. So homocystinuria, so there are different types of homocystinuria that means accumulation of homocysteine levels in the body, uh, in the blood as well as in the urine leading to a condition homocystinuria. So we will discuss in detail about this homocystinuria. All of like different types of homocystinuria are there. So most of them like all of them are autosomal recessive in condition. Incidence is 1 in 2 lakh in uh, 2 lakh births. Normal homocysteine level in blood is 5 to 15 micromoles per liter. In disease conditions, it may be increased to 50 to 100 times of its normal level. So, more rate increase seen in aged persons, vitamin B12 or B6 deficiency, tobacco smokers, alcoholics, and in hypothyroidism. So, we have seen already in the methionine metabolism what is the crucial role of vitamin B12 and also B6 because B12 is required conversion of homocysteine to methionine and B6 is required conversion of homocysteine to cysteine. So in this case, this water soluble vitamin deficiencies, there is a higher quantity of homocysteine accumulation and leads high homocysteinuria. So substantial increase in notice in congenital diseases, large amount of homocysteine are excreted in urine and leads the condition homocysteinuria. In plasma, homocysteine with sulfidyl group and homocysteine disulfide groups exist. Both of them are absent in normal urine, but if present, it will be homocysteine form. If homocysteine level in blood is increased, there is increased risk for coronary artery disease. Yes. So nowadays homocysteine levels in higher range considered as a threat to, I mean like cardiovascular disorders. So it has been proven in research wise. So there is a connection between high levels of homocysteine and the coronary artery disease. An increase of 5 micromole per liter of homocysteine serum elevates risk of coronary artery disease by as much as cholesterol increase of 20 milligrams per deciliter. Homocysteine interacts with lysyl residues of collagen and bind to fibrin producing endothelial dysfunction causes blockage in the arteries of the heart. Providing adequate quantity of pyridoxine, vitamin B12 and folic acid will keep homocysteine levels in control okay rather than its accumulation. So now coming to another disorder of uh, methionine metabolism, cystathione beta synthase deficiency. Here what is happening, cystathione beta synthase, this is an enzyme which converts homocysteine with the help of serine to form cysteine. But here, because of the defect in this enzyme, homocysteine cannot be converted. So, there is a high levels of homocysteine. So, it can elevate plasma levels of methionine and homocysteine. There is increased excretion of methionine and homocysteine, you can see in the urine. Plasma cysteine is markedly reduced. General symptoms are like mental retardation and Charlie Chaplin gait. Skeletal deformities, you can also see in eyes. Ectopia lentis, subluxation of lens, myopia and glaucoma may be observed. Homocysteine cause activation of Hageman's factor. This may lead to increased platelet adhesiveness and life-threatening intravascular thrombosis. So that is the clinical features related to cystathione beta synthase deficiency. So cyanide nitroprusside test which will be uh, helpful in make out the cystathione beta synthase deficiency. In case of in this deficiency, this cyanide nitroprusside test will be positive. Urinary excretion of homocysteine is more than 300 mg per 24 hours of urine. Plasma homocysteine and methionine levels are increased. Treatment is diet low in methionine and rich in cysteine. Sometimes the affinity of epoenzyme to the coenzyme is reduced. In such cases, pyridoxal phosphate PLP, the coenzyme given in large quantities will which, which can correct this deficiency. So here you see here homocysteines, homocysteinuria which can happen. Serine cannot combine with homocysteine because of the cystathione synthase deficiency. High levels of homocysteines and leads the condition homocysteinuria. And also cystathionuria in case what happens cystathionine cannot be cleaved to cysteine formation. So the thing is cystathionase will not be working. Maybe water soluble vitamin PLP is also defective. So what is cystathionuria? So here it is recessive inheritance. It is also causing severe mental retardation. Urine cystathionine levels you can see. Cyanide nitroprusside test will be positive and blood also in high levels of cystathionine because of the enzyme deficiency cystathionase which cystathionine cannot be treated into hydroxyserine. I mean uh, homocyrine and uh, cysteine. What we have to do? We have to restrict the uh, amino acid methionine in the diet. So along if you are supplying, the, so the treatment will be like instead of methionine, uh, provide the diet which is rich of cysteine along with in like uh, pyridoxal phosphate and folic acid coenzymes. Acquired hyperhomocysteinemia. So nutritional deficiency of vitamins. So we have seen in methionine metabolism, what are the crucial roles played by the water soluble vitamins such as PLP, B9 that means folic acid, uh, cobalamine that is B12. So these are the three uh, water soluble vitamins which are playing major role. So the in case nutritional deficiency of vitamins such as cobalamine, folic acid and pyridoxine which leads to 
acquired hyperhomocysteinemia. So it is metabolic chronic renal diseases in hypothyroidism. It may access drug induced like uh, in case of the drugs which are acting against these water soluble vitamins. So they also induce this uh, hyperhomocysteinemia. So folate antagonists, uh, vitamin B12 antagonists, pyridoxine antagonists, estrogen antagonists, nitric oxide antagonists also they cause acquired hyperhomocysteinemia. So you see here cystinuria, homocystinuria and uh, cystathioninuria through three different uh, things in case of disorders related to methionine. Amino acid urea is related to sulfur containing amino acids. So deficiency in case of uh, transport system. So they cannot be reabsorbed in the renal tubules. So cystine uh, can be easily excrete. So in that condition there is no mental retardation tissue uh, because it is excreting. So there is no tissue deposition. There is no ectopic lentis. There is no ectopia lentis. There is no thrombosis. There is no renal insufficiency. There is no but you can see renal calliculite. Okay, but in case of homocystinuria because of the enzyme deficiency cystathione synthase there will be mental retardation. There is no tissue deposition, but you can see ectopia lentis and then thrombosis. There is no uh, renal stoles. Okay, and in cystathioninuria, cystathioninase, there is again mental retardation you can see, and the rest of the kidney stones and ectopia lentis thrombosis, they all can be not seen. So, if you see the amino acid ureas, yes, cystine is there, amino acid urea is there, amino acid increased in the blood, no, nitroposide test will be positive. No need to restrict anything. In case of homocystinuria, homocystine levels will be there in the urine. Methionine, homocystine also you can see. The nitroposite test will be triple positive. And uh, methionine has to be restricted in the diet. And cystathionine also same. Cystathionine will be increased in the urine and the blood also. And the cysteine uh, will be positive in case of nitroposite test. And the diet you have to restrict methionine. And clinical importance of homocysteine. So what is the thing about homocysteine in the blood? So there is no, uh, what to say, there is some evidence to associate that increase in the homocysteine levels of the blood and myocardial infarction. However, the association is weak and this is only minor cause for heart attack. An increase of 5 millimoles liter of, per liter of homocysteine seen in serum elevates the risk of coronary artery disease which is equivalent to increased cholesterol of 20 milligrams per deciliter. Homocysteine interacts with lysyl residues of collagen interfering with the collagen cross linkings of the arterial walls. It forms homocysteine thiolactone, a free radical which thiolates LDL particles then tend to aggregate increase in the tendency of atherogenesis. Providing adequate uh, quantity of pyridoxine, vitamin B12 and folic acid will keep homocysteine blood in normal levels. Maternal hyperhomocysteinemia is known to increase the chance of neural tube defects in fetus. So high dose of folic acid is advised in case of pregnancy. So that's all about uh, hyperhomocysteinuria. Thanks for watching. Thank you.